Hello everyone, it's me again, Isa, and welcome back to my channel. It's a different background altogether dahil nandito ako sa aking kapatid. And as you can see, we have mga visitors <laughs> sa likod ko. That's PG, and this one is Mad Maya. So, dyan na sila sa likod natin dahil gusto nila dyan magtambay, no? I do have here my iced coffee, and ito na rin yung laptop natin. We're all ready. Let's begin our May Percy. Now, let's start with our highlights for March and April. First is my cousin Sean's wedding. Medyo nagkaroon ako ng preview nito on my March reset. So, please do watch my March reset video. It was a big family event for us. And I'm super duper happy na uh, successful yung wedding ng Vincent ko. She deserves everything the world has to offer from Johnny Shaw. Uh, pait na tao, kamatulungin, very selfless person. So, I have a complete admiration sa kanyang love story. Another highlight is my Eras Tour experience also happened in March. I went to Singapore. Yung experience no, to go to another country to watch a concert, I never thought na magagawa ko siya in my lifetime. And it happened. So, very much blessed and happy to witness Eras tour. Sobrang na-amaze lang ako with Taylor Swift, how she was able to write those songs. Ang galing. And napaka-fun ng buong experience. Additionally, I also went to Singapore and Malaysia. I have to highlight Chong Baru Market. Doon kami laging nag-aalmusal. And I fell in love with Kaya Toast. So, super nice niya. It was my second time going to Malaysia. We only went to see the Petronas Tower dahil meron lang kami parang layover pa uwi. I already have a video on my Singapore and Malaysia experience. However, hindi pa siya na edit The focus of my video is not really more of a travel vlog, pero just share with you guys how much I spent both in Singapore and Malaysia. Next highlight, ito medyo April na. Of course, I was reunited with my niece AJ no misis nila sila. It was so much fun to finally see AJ again. Additionally, it's Fiji's birthday. Ito si Fiji. Ayan o, oh, baby Fiji. Oh, diba? Tumitingin siya. So, birthday niya. Actually, medyo magka-birth month sila ni AJ. So, sinalabi din namin yung birthday niya. And then, we also have a cake for AJ kasi... Uh, yun nga, magka-birth month sila. I also want to highlight some random moments I had with my parents. We had them for almost two weeks or more than two weeks. And we had plenty of time together. Halos araw-araw may mga ganap. I also went to Liwliwa Beach in San Felipe, Sambales with my sister and the dogs. So, nag-enjoy ang mga dogs. Maligo sa dagat. We also experienced the sunset on the beach, so that's also one of the highlights that I had. Next is the three days and two nights stay at Shangala Hotel. I did for work. Yung aming mga founders, CEOs, ay gumisita here in the Philippines. It was also a massive event that they did. They had a golden gala. Para siyang gets me inspired in yung na event. All of us were treated to a three days, two nights stay. Yung first night, we're free to do whatever we want. We had a karaoke session with our general manager. And then the second day is the gala itself. We want best dress. That is also a highlight. Now, the last one for my highlights will be the Milo Marathon one. Hindi ako tumakbo, pero I did support my sister kasi nagrun siya on 10 kilometer distance. So, kasama namin ang mga dogs, all present, supporting her and very proud that she finished the race and got her finisher now. Now, let's go to the low lights for March and April. First, we'll be visiting my Lola's grave. I was with my parents, pati yung sister ko, binisita namin si Lola. Next low life is my parents' last day in Manila. So, bumalik na sila sa probinsya. And, syempre, always nakakalungkot na magkalayo. Now, the last low life will be my commitment on content and my readings. I don't think I made anything significant March and April. So, in the next month, or for May, definitely blogging. I need new content and then routines. I also want to get back to my routines. Now, let's go to my March and April 2024 to-dos. 
Although I only have here my March to do's for some reason, and pinakagawa natin is to spend time with family. Definitely, maraming moments na I was with my family. Uh, the other to do's, the hard reset on blog and business content, trying to have consistent routines, hindi siya natupad. So, I'll be moving it to my me to do's and adding some more. Am I happy with how I spend my time, energy, and money for March and April? Definitely, yes. I'm rating March and April an 8 out of 10. When it comes to social life, sobrang daming ganap sa family, sa work. It has a lot of first-time experience on my end, very blessed experience on my end. Kaya, 8 out of 10. I think this is the highest rating I had for 2024 so far. And well-deserved ng March and April. Now, let's go through my social media trackers. So, for YouTube, for March, I had one video. For April, I had two. My subscribers count as of April 2024, it's 1,704. Medyo nabawasan tayo. Nagdagdagan ng March, pero nabawasan ng April. Watch time hours, 15.9 ng March 2024, and then 20 hours in total for April 2024 and then for our short views 269 for March and 443 views on April. That was starting this May reset I also want to track my lifetime view so so far since I created a YouTube channel I have a lifetime views of 526,200 now let's go through our Instagram for Instagram, March, we have three content. For April, we had two posts. And then our number of followers at the moment is 706. For savingspinai.ph, I had a po one post on March, no post on April, sadly. And we're now at 1,166 followers. For Facebook, this is almost the same in terms of content count. So for the more followers, as of April 2024, we're now at 157 for Isaac Nino, and then for savingspinai.ph, we are at 6,630. Now for TikTok, we have zero posts on March, and then I had one post for April. That, that was my Singapore Palacia travel. We're now at 197 followers. Thank you, thank you so much for following me. And then I'm also starting to track my post views. So for April 2024, we have 2,372 posts. So that's it for my social media trackers. Now let's go to my May to do's. So I have here some of the to do's from the last two months. And ito pa rin sila. The hard reset on blog and business content, as well as trying to have consistent routines. Also, the vlog for Singapore Malaysia. Hopefully, by May, lahat pa mong check. I added another two main life to do's for May. That is to visit SSS Phil Health Pag-Ibig Centers in Taguig. I became a freelancer. If you want to know about my freelancing journey, please do watch my podcast video talking about it. But since then, never go na process yung aking mga mandatory government needs. So I should be a volunteer payee now since wala na ako sa corporate. Uh, kung nakapalitan ng mama ko, for sure, babatukan ako ng papagalitan ako. Kasi hindi ko siya inaansipaso. So I do need na asukasuhin na siya this time around. Next will be to process documentary needs for Project X. So I have Project X. Medyo secret project ko siya. And I think when I'm ready to share about it, I'll be sharing about it here on YouTube. But for now, um, it's gonna be like a secret. Now, let's look at our hubs. For 2024 books, nakapag-add tayo ng isa. It's a psychological thriller novel. Meron din tong Netflix show ngayon na available. Ang title niya is Ripley. Pero na tayo sa ko basahin ni libro, hindi dahil sa Netflix show, kundi dahil sa film starring Matt Damon. So, I'll try to insert yung kanyang movie poster. So I finished that on April 23 and I actually gave it a 5 stars. And now let's go to movies. I watched Dune 2. Nauna ko siya mapanood kasi yung Dune 1. Kasi yung kapatid ko, wala na lang nagyaya na manood ng sine. Tapos Dune 2 daw. Wala akong masyadong knows nung nanood ako. Pero sobrang na-enjoy ko siya. Parang siya Star Wars. So after that, Kinabukasan, may nanood ko agad yung Dune 1. Buti na available siya sa Netflix. So, I now have a backstory on what happened. And it's also really, really good. I also finished How I Met Your Mother. Hindi ko siya first time panoorin. I think this is my second or third time watching it. 
medyo may kurot ngayon kasi 30 years old na ako. Uh, next one is Baby Reindeer. So, si Baby Reindeer naman, I finished at April 14. It tells a haunting, semi autobiographical story of Donnie. So, yung main na character na nagplay ng Donnie, yun talaga yung nangyari sa kanya. Now, Donnie becomes the romantic obsession of a mentally ill woman, Martha, who proceeds to stop him. It's a really good limited series. Episode 4 is kind of triggering, so just a little caution on that one. I won't be able to show my bullet journal setup dahil ito ako sa kapatid ko, wala sa akin yung aking bullet journal. But I'll be doing the same setup as I always had. Never naman ako agad nagpapalit talaga on a month-on-month basis. If something is working for me, I try to follow it. Now let's talk about money. So April is a big tax season. Nagbayad tayo ng ating 2023 tax filing. And pikit mata natin binayaran ng ating mga taxes. So that's that. Now for May budget. I usually have the same expenses. I have a boring life, so I do have the same expenses every month. But additional to that is Mother's Day, so I'll be squeezing in some extra money for my mom, who's gonna be watching this video. Happy Mother's Day, Mama, and I love you so much. So thank you so much, everyone, for watching this video. I do hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. See you on the next video.